Good afternoon guys. We are outside in the garden today. It is a beautiful day. It's almost 60 degrees out. I'm not ready for the rain that I know that is coming later this week, but we're definitely enjoying having some warmer weather. The doors and the windows are all open in the house. Enjoying it while we can and getting some stuff done out here in the garden. So my main project for today is to get a trellised archway up. Um, there are two reasons why I wanted to get a trellised archway into the garden this year. One is just to get the vertical space going, i.e. the beans and squash and things that like to vine can grow up instead of out all over into our yard or our lawn, which will help us mow a lot easier if I can contain them a little bit better. And secondly, um, the beans and the squash that we are beans and uh, peas are the two things that the animals really went after this last year. So the basic plan for this archway is to have two two foot by eight foot beds bordering either side of the archway. This will allow me to get some planting in on either side and also allow me to reach everything that I need to and be able to access everything that is growing on the actual archway. So the first thing I have to do is to cut down some wood. When making beds you want to use untreated wood this is just wood I picked up from a local hardwood store uh, six inches wide which usually fits my little square end pieces but I just got them this size because it fits with everything else that I have basically but we won't be using the corner pieces we'll be actually joining the ends to each other in a normal box for what I need to do to help get the netting up So I purchased five lengths of eight foot lumber by six inches by two inches, and I am simply cutting one of those eight foot sections into two foot sections to make the ends of my beds. And as I mentioned earlier, these beds are only going to be two foot wide rather than my standard four foot, mostly because I didn't think it would be super fun to be leaning all the way over four feet to try and work on the other side of the trellis as it arches away from me. This of course is not the most economical way to build your beds as it costs a little bit more with only having the two foot ends, but since this bed is already probably going to be the most expensive bed in my yard, I figured that I would like to make it super easy to deal with and handle later on. I am by no means a woodworker or have worked with wood very much, so don't come at me if I'm doing something wrong. I just made it work how I need, needed it to. And I ended up screwing or pre-drilling holes into the ends of the wood here and then screwing in four inch deck screws into uh, each of the corners. I used two on each corner and it ended up being pretty sturdy and I was pretty happy with it. And no, these boxes probably aren't perfectly square or perfectly lined up. The wood was fairly, well, a little bit warped. I tried to find the best pieces that I could, but there's only so much selection sometimes, and it's sometimes very difficult to find nice straight um, lumber. So I did the best that I could, and again, these are just going out in the yard. I don't need them to be the prettiest thing on the face of the earth.
after some discussion about where to place these in the yard so that they would not be in the way and we could still get the lawnmower into the backyard, uh, we roughly placed the boxes how far apart we thought they might need to be. And then this is 18 foot cattle grid. This is something I picked up at Tractor Supply. I believe Southern States also carries them and we had to use a friend's truck to get it back to my house. Um, but we're very grateful for her help because I'm very excited about this. And we simply just arched it right over. And the boxes will help add a little bit of stability to the archway by having something for the arch to push against. We will also be placing posts um, on either side to help stabilize it as well. And this job was definitely a two-person job. You probably could have done it by yourself, but having two people definitely helped make everything go a lot faster, and it made it much quicker to get everything uh, pounded into the ground for the stakes, as well as tied down with all of the ties to keep everything stable. So I have a total of six posts. There will be one on each corner or end, and then one in the middle, which both will attach to. And you can see Shaver is just using a hammer to pound them into the ground. And then I am going around and using some small little ties that are made for these type of posts that are supposed to be helpful, but they ended up being just really difficult to use, but they got the job done. The main thing was that you had to use pliers in order to twist the metal around the horizontal pieces of the cattle grid and it just was not very easy to do no matter what angle you tried at so I don't know if I would try and use them again. And that's it guys, we have completed a trellis archway for the garden. If you have any questions please feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.